Hello, riders or not. Today on the vlog from Kupaz Motorcycles, I'm taking for a ride a new Royal Enfield shotgun. The new shotgun just arrived to UK dealerships. But Copab managed to very quickly, within a few days, already to put some custom accessories in it. The mirrors, they changed them. Also, they put the thumb guard over here to protect all the important bits. And they changed the indicators. Also, they took off the back rack because in their opinion and mine as well the lines of a bike look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer without it let me grab it for you and show you just over here here we go so your pilly rack goes just over here nicely that's how the bike comes out Sitting position, now it's on the central stand, so I can't talk about the height of a bike, but I know it's under 800 millimeters, 790. I'll come with all the specs, you don't worry. <laughs> but if I'm sitting riding, as you can see, everything for me, for my height, I'm 1 meter 75 centimeters, 5'9", not single. And <laughs> as you can see, the bike fits me well. It feels like a very nice riding position. Everything is in the right places. Everything is easy to reach. As all the Royal Enfields, it doesn't have a lot of things happening. Sometimes some other Royal Enfields have very quirky design over here. Whereas this looks, for me, it looks cleaner. It does have a trip hop. So you can connect your phone and you can use it for a navigation, which I'll try today on today's ride. I downloaded the Royal Enfield app and I will see how easy it is to connect to the bike and use the tripper. And it has a beautiful speedo, which I think it goes very nicely with slightly more modernized design of the shotgun. First of all, I managed to connect the tripper, but I'll demonstrate it a little bit later because now my plan is to get a little bit lost and then using a tripper to find a way back. So first of all, obviously it's the sound of it. Huh. It feels great. It feels like home. <laughs>
love it. Actually, straight away, I prefer this over Interceptor. For everyone who wants to ask if I prefer this or Super Meteor, I haven't ridden Super Meteor yet. And the plan is to do maybe the next video a comparison between this and Super Meteor and see which one I prefer because they're sharing the same engine and the same chassis. gears nice and smoothly every everything everything feels solid but not too heavy it doesn't feel like it's tiring I will see at the end of the day how my wrist was will feel and my bum but the seat feels comfortable the sitting position feels comfortable and everything feels fine like I, I'm not struggling with anything apart from this like not very even road and the brand new tires and the motorcycle that had been ridden only a couple miles while the mechanic or from Coupub uh, apart from that the bike itself feels absolutely brilliant considering it just came from the factory and I'll tell you an interesting fact guys once you get a brand new bike or you test ride a brand new bike it's not exactly what that bike will be after you will do some miles in it and i've noticed that very well when i took a motorguys dv7 from the dealership and then i took one in tenerife which had some miles done it felt almost like a different bike it was so much nicer and so much smoother and so much better so once you take a brand new motorcycle from the dealership it's not necessarily a perfect yet it's just just imagine all the parts being made and, and put together and of course they tested it but it's still everything needs to start working together everything needs to come up together and and you have to own your tires in and, and then the bike starts getting better at least what i've noticed with some motorcycles fantastic this is fantastic I love when you sit on the bike and it feels effortless to ride it when you don't have to think too much when it's just you just sit and go and as I mentioned even a tripper is so easy to set up it took me uh, literally a couple minutes to set up it on my phone it's so easy just follow the direction basically I open the app press the helmet and that's it and it finds the bike you type the code that it appears on the bike and that's it that's it you connected we'll see how well it works on the way back Brilliant. Suspension is on the harder side, but it's, um, I'm a lightweight rider, so probably somebody bigger would say that it's perfect for them. This is flood here. No flood, brilliant. Oh, it's a little bumpy. Look at this. You 
you could leave the entire bike here. Gorgeous is that? Oh, I love this. You can be very lazy with gears, they are very forgiven. As you can hear, like I should probably be in third over here, but I was lazy and stayed in fourth, and the bike just nicely pulls out. Nice and talky from from the bottom range and throughout the range. On the top, it loses obviously. It's it's more. It feels more like a cruiser. However, it has more character than an interceptor, which I mentioned already. I think it's time to turn back. We did a bit of everything, a bit of an urban riding, a bit of a fast riding. I, I didn't go dual carriageway or motorway because uh, for selfish reasons guys. It's freaking cold. It's freaking cold and it's boring to ride motorway and this bike is so much fun and I don't want to spoil it by, by riding on the motorway so I was going easy 60 miles per hour definitely easy can do 70 but it's just like the same engine the same twin as an interceptor so nothing new here it's not the bike made for you to do the races so don't expect it to be magically a pocket rocket it's still a cruiser family just just more aggressive more custom feeling and more custom look as well and more solid better made like little detail like this just look at that it's not just zip ties, it's, it's thoughtful. Also, I look through the all the build and welds and everything and it's it's good. It's a good quality, solid bike. Also, what I've been told about the tripper, that this tripper is better. So you push the helmet and that's how it connects to this connecting. Connection unsuccessful. Okay, do it again. Tripper. Connecting. Come on. And all I have to do is ride it down. Cool pub. More door cycles. And get directions. Here we go, and it gives you options as well, which way do you want to go? It's brilliant, isn't it? Navigate. Here we go. I don't think that many of you who's watching this episode never ridden a twin Rollenfeld. <laughs> I think the reason you're watching it is to find out how it is different from other twins like Interceptor for example. Because Super Meteor is a pretty new bike as well. And I will tell you, I just had an interceptor a few months back for a quite long loan 
if I would have to choose, I would definitely choose that. But if somebody would come to me, uh, maybe old age, maybe looking for more comfortable bike for uh, long trips, for going everywhere bike, then probably an interceptor would be better for you. They, they are different characters. And my suggestion would be to try both. To try both and to find out, or at least to sit on both and to find out which one suits you better. Because I feel much better on a shotgun. I feel much better because it's just, it's just more me. It's just more the way I ride. I, I like this more aggressive riding position. And I love the thrill that it gives and uh, I just love this. From being a very cold it was a very good ride I really enjoyed it to me this and Continental GT stands out as the the most custom and the most character having Royal Enfields and I love bikes with a character I love bikes that feels and rides like custom bikes however if it's every single euro compliant or euro rules that you need at the moment so as it is it already feels a custom motorcycle but you will have no problem with passing your mot with any laws with anything i didn't feel any pain my wrist didn't get it tired i didn't have any back pain i was out however for maybe all together for two hours riding so it's not long enough to tell you how it is on the long ride maybe next time but this time my first impressions are very very positive and i think this is one of my favorite royal enfields and in in a top three definitely i need to think about it more and i need to recall every single ride that i had before because i, I can't compare it straight away but it's it's good it's good it, it they improving which uh, with every single year they are improving dramatically technology wise and build wise i i examined the welds as well and, and everything is getting better and better quality better looking and exciting now guys i'm very curious to ask ian a couple questions especially about what parts to customize this they already have at the shop Visually, I can say straight away, I would go for Shogun. Definitely not Super Meteor. Really? Yeah. I think it does look cooler. I think it looks cool, but it's not my my. I think this looks cool. cooler. To me, this looks more grown up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Shogun. you, you yeah, have a yeah. you have a like a. I feel like I'm not old enough for that. 
You can't say that in a Royal Enfield showroom. <laughs> to me, I, I really like both of them, okay? If I was gonna go a long distance, I'd probably take that because this, when you put luggage on this bike, it still looks nice. Mm. You can buy, we sell the, uh, the Jivvy weightless luggage uh, and it looks, it looks right for that bike. And I've seen lots of people um, with stuff on and it looks good. You can put engine bars on it, spot lamps, all of that mm. stuff. And it looks like a Tourer mm. um, in the same way that people put those sort of accessories on, I don't know, like a Harley Sportster. Whereas this one, this looks more stripped back. And, this is more uh, to go for the weekend ride for fish yeah. and chips and, and then uh, like go to like your yeah, badass yeah. Or, or like ride rip a twelve yeah. to London to a bike shed and then yeah. turn yeah. around and go back. So Even I the sound, more, I think. Just just these slightly different silences, this definitely sounds better. You know? Yeah. It's the yeah. same motor. There's no reason why it should sound any different, but it does sound different. Mm -hmm. um, you have to sort of listen to it, but it's detectable. Yeah. yeah, so I hope that next time we'll have, I'm preparing the equipment to yeah. record the sound better. Okay. So once I'll do both, yeah. then I can record the sound yeah. better and uh, actually try to show this in the video, the difference between the sound and yeah. between those two and, and maybe even interceptor as well, yeah. so like yeah. all three. What parts, what custom parts that you have in the shop fits this like straight away, except from the... So the, the custom parts that we have for this bike are in stock are what's shared from the uh, Super Media. So this one's already got the sump guard on it, it's mm -hmm. already got the bar end mirrors on it and it's got the LED indicators. What mirrors okay. it comes with, with the Mickey Mouse? So it comes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it comes yes. with those mirrors. They go in here. See Thank this bit here? Thank you for this. <laughs> I think these are better. I think you can see more. Oh, how um, about the plugs? You sell them? Do you sell yeah, them? They, well, we sell, these are the rubber plugs that we would just fit anyway. But okay. we sell the nice alloy ones okay. with the knurled edge that look really pretty. Okay. Uh, they're a bit more expensive, obviously. Uh, but they're proper ones. This is just a rubber plug that we just So if put somebody in. wants to change the Mickey Mouse mirror, somebody yeah. like me who would change the Mickey Mouse mirrors on yeah. this particular bike straight away, because yeah. it suits this one, but definitely not this one. Right. Uh, together with the mirrors, you would yeah. you would recommend to get some plugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. It just finishes them off. Otherwise, if you, if you didn't do that, if you just bought the mail order, and put them on your bike, then you end up with a hole here, yeah. and it's not a standard it's size. It's got in it. Yeah, it just doesn't look very, very nice. And one of them's a left-hand thread, so you can't just go and get a bolt out of the bottom of your toolbox and put it in. You could use it for something like a lipstick holder. You could, I put my lipstick in there. Mm. That sounds wrong, don't put that in there. <laughs> so these are the LED ones, so they're slightly smaller. I don't know if you can see the difference in scale. Where are they, they, like this? Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's so much better. Yeah, yeah. This and these so are really better. bright as well. Mm. Uh, really bright. But it looks so good. It, yeah, it, it works does. very well, but yeah. uh, it just... Yeah. It looks a lot more modern as well. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I think if I was going to customize one of these, I would replace them with something even smaller. Even smaller than that. Yeah. But this, this is good size as well. Yeah, it is. It yeah. kind of yeah. does not sacrifice. And this is a proper part. Royal Enfield part. So you literally just bolt it on and plug it in. Oh, okay. Just plug it in. Yeah, there's no, no adaptation no required. Nothing, no, nothing. no, you just wow. unplug the old one and plug that one in. It's a direct replacement. The, all of the accessories on this bike are genuine accessories. All of those accessories on that wall uh, are the genuine stuff. And there's other parts coming for these. Um, and then of course you've got the, the rack. When the bike uh, comes in the crate, it comes with this fitted, something like that. Mm. Okay. Um, and then you can take the key and remove the seat. Here. And that leaves you with this nice luggage rack. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted to make that slightly smaller, you can unbolt these. Yeah. But obviously it's a good place to use a bungee strap and strap stuff on. Uh, and then it's literally just the four bolts to remove it all together. Um, and you get this low rider look. I think it's brilliant because if you have this and you want to go for longer trips, you definitely need a rack. Because yeah. I once rode the yeah. Boba Silverstone, I think, like three hours or four hours in the rain with carrying everything on me yeah, and I horrible. hated it. It was yeah. horrible. Yeah. So having a rack and being yeah. able to strap and coming with a bike or yeah. if you want to take uh, your husband yeah. or wife yeah. or children 
then the you've bag, got then you can, yeah. can have that. I mean, that's a decent size rack as well. So you get a good size dry bag bungeed onto there. You know, yeah, yeah. You and know. the seat looks nice and spongy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's not enormous. It's hard. not going to be super comfortable. But I think with a bike like this, two up traveling is probably, um, you know, it's probably sufficient for what most people are going to want. Yeah, yeah. And on the subject of the seat, there's a beautiful, genuine Royal Enfield accessory seat. We're stitching that way. It is looks, it? Oh, it looks perfect. Is it? I think the accessories on this bike are going to be designed to look far more uh, customy Custom than yeah. typically what what's what's been before it in terms of genuine accessories. I'm very excited to come back and ask you how many you sold already. Because okay. even today you had like three calls. Yeah, we've had loads of inquiries on it. I we think... had two people coming and unfortunately, if you're watching my channel now, I'm sorry you couldn't ride it today. <laughs> I'm sorry I stole the call day. Uh, that guy's coming back tomorrow. <laughs> thank you so okay. much for for the bike. And That's all right, you're thank welcome. Thank you so much for everything for interview. Cool. And if you want to try one yourself, Kupab always having a ticket along. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Let's do the beat.